Citrus Heights police say at least 10 businesses across Sacramento and Placer counties were targeted and their windows were smashed and vandalized. Yeah, officials say that this is now a fraud investigation. The combined damages have a price tag of more than a half million dollars. Case Area 3's Brittany Hope is live for us at a ramen restaurant. So what happened there, Brittany? So Golston, just imagine this. All of the windows you see behind me, we're talking about 20 of them completely smashed in. You can see they are repaired now, but evidence of that destruction is still here. On the ground, you can see some shards of glass. You know, he had the black clothing on, black mask on, had a hammer and everything. Went around pretty quickly. Smashing everything. The surveillance video is shocking. A person destroying the windows at Fukumi Ramen in Citrus Heights. Every single window. And it wasn't the first time. We weren't expecting a second incident, much less a third incident to happen. After being hit three times, all the glass is now repaired. And it wasn't just the ramen restaurant. The owner's wife here at Mountain Mike's Pizza tells me their windows were shattered too. Citrus Heights police tell KCRA 3 at least 10 businesses across the Sacramento region are victims to this vandalism. Now a fraud investigation is underway in Sacramento and Placer counties. Citrus Heights police worked with Sacramento police to serve search warrants at a residence and business location of a person of interest in this felony vandalism series of crimes. 30 year old Philip Archuleta was arrested for unrelated crimes, but Citrus Heights police say they anticipate additional charges related to the vandalism in the near future. Police say Archuleta was running the business Brothers Doors and Glass without a contractor's license. Hi, you've reached Brothers Doors and Glass. Hi there, my name's Brittany Hope. I'm a reporter for KCRA 3. I'm Archuleta is now out of custody in Placer County. We tried calling his business, emailing, and texting, but have not heard back. For the owner of Fukumi Ramen, now it makes sense. The name is familiar. She says Archuleta's company was working on the restaurant's door before the vandalisms began. He, out of nowhere, told me that he does glass as well. And I said, oh, that's really good to know. And then the next day, um, our windows were broken. Well, back out here live, Citrus Heights police say they are working with the Roseville, Sacramento and Elk Grove Police Departments on this case. They're now asking for the public's help. If you or your business had your window smashed in or vandalized, they are asking you now to come forward. We're live in Citrus Heights. Brittany Hope, KCRA 3 News. Yeah, that is a costly fix there behind you. What happens now in the investigation, Brittany? Yeah, so at this point, they're really working on getting their case together, looking at all the evidence, collecting it. Citrus Heights Police then says they'll work with all those other law enforcement agencies to bring this case to the Sacramento County District Attorney's Office. At that point, once it's all reviewed, there could be another warrant arrest made. All right, we'll continue to follow that. Brittany, thank you.